This is the second episode of the best program on the planet. Mythbusters, a program where we put into practice the most extraordinary theories, speculations, and legends that Art of War players talk about. So what's in store for you today? Getting torpedoed. Can the torpedo splash destroy Solaris? Battle for the container. Will the mole be able to destroy Wasp as it captures the container? Leap of faith. Will Cerberus survive a nuclear strike if he leaps by using the active ability when the explosion occurs? Let's go! Solaris, Solaris, what a power! It flies over mines defying torpedo lines, but the splash resides. Let's enlighten those who don't know anything about game terms. In gaming, a splash refers to a situation where damage is inflicted on multiple enemy heroes or units simultaneously. This damage is distributed to all those close to the explosion area of a missile or shell. Okay, can a torpedo splash take out Solaris? One torpedo, two torpedoes, three torpedoes. That should be enough. Hocus Pocus. May there be Solaris! Got it. Let's add a pinch of deltas around here. Colonel Laserif says we're allowed to open fire. Here we go. Boom! Bang! Crash! Kaboom! Oh look! Solaris is scratched indeed. Okay, how many deltas do we need to wipe this thing out? Let's add more deltas. And even more! We only needed 15 deltas or 30 command points and 2100 resources for the test. It's not something you'd want to repeat in regular competitive battles. The myth is confirmed. Well, the next thing is… Wasp's pilot is a fairly hot girl. So no wonder Mole's drivers always dreamed of meeting her in person. I mean, you know, candles, dinner, some romance, dancing, you name it. But Wasp is always high in the sky, and Mole stays on the ground. Uh-huh. What can we do to help the earthy gentleman? Let's lure Wasp in. The Wasp loves containers, and she doesn't think twice before stealing them from a distracted Confederation soldier. Nothing to say about big containers. Okay, we're gonna put the container, hide Mole behind a tree, and wait. Pretty woman, walking down the street. Touchdown. Go, 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 go! Drill that girl! No way. It's not an easy game to play. Now Drill needs a place to hide away. Being a charming, well-mannered lady, Wasp won't kiss a stranger on the very first date. Myth busted. Cerberus is a hero who loves to get stuck in traffic, especially if there are many enemy infantrymen there. Rarely does a shooter leave on his own two feet after Cerberus jumps into a crowd, but leaping can also help him escape responsibility, even if it's a Jaguar Salvo, for example. But will jumping work against the most powerful weapon in our game, the nuclear strike? Let's check this out choosing a beautiful place for our test. The sea is near, the forest lies on the other side. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Cerberus, get back to square one, and may fortune favor you. Rocket to launch. It's the final countdown. Three, two, one, let's go. Sure thing, I totally get how frustrating it can be to get interrupted during the good stuff, but don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up before we dive back in. Hey, have any of you caught sight of Cerberus lately? Give Cerberus a heads up that we're counting on him to show up for a shoot where he'll be fighting off against Wolverine for a commercial. Myth busted. Hey there, Commanders. Did you have a blast watching the video? What other myths are you itching to explore? Drop your suggestions in the comments below.